I think you need to find people who are thinking rationally from a minority investor's point of view. For example, you do buybacks. If you see buybacks in Japan, huge positive. And there are companies who do that these days. In emerging Asia, I think it's more common to have complex corporate structures. A parent company that has actual operating assets, and then they might send cash to that parent company through related party transactions. Or maybe they have a sister company that's owned by the parent that has the operating assets as well. And then they have, let's say, the majority of the employees employed with that sister company. And then they don't show up in the accounts. They're not consolidated in the, to the accounts of the listed company. So it looks like they're really profitable, high margins. But in fact, they're once every two years, they send money to the sister company to pay for the salaries. Things like that. Extremely common. And you can, it's not that easy to figure out what the corporate structure is, but you can, related part of the transactions are sometimes disclosed, sometimes. Mm. But if you dig a little bit, you can find warning signs.